Hi, it's Monty from Sporty Cyclist and in this video I thought I would share with you some of the footage that I took on a recent ride that I had with the Canyon DHB powered by Blawholm's professional cycling team. Now this opportunity didn't come to me because of the Sporty Cyclist blog, but I'm sure that the Canyon DHB marketing team are fully aware of the excellent work that I do here on the blog. Instead, this opportunity arose because of a connection through my day job, but given that it was cycling, it was pretty much going to be the last day of summer in 2019. I jumped at the chance to get out on the bike and ride with professional riders. Before we go any further, can I ask a favour? Can you hit the subscribe button below this video and also turn the notifications on? That way you'll find out when I release my next video and you'll be able to watch it. So, with that request out of the way, let's get into the video. The day was based down in the Cotswolds, which is over 120 miles away from where I live, so it meant an early start and a three hour drive. I entertained myself by taking random shots with my GoPro, obviously whilst maintaining both hands on the wheel at all times, and also took the opportunity to catch up on some of my favourite podcasts. Regular readers of the blog will recognise my cycling go box, into which I also chucked my water bottles, helmet, bike shoes and a range of different bike clothes. Time passed pretty quickly and I soon found myself in glorious Gloucestershire countryside arriving at the base venue. Upon arrival I was greeted by a friendly herd of pigeons. The day was being run out of this rather beautiful English country house which some of you may recognise from a very popular BBC drama and if you stick around until the end of this video I'll be sure to let you know what that is. As the participants of the day started to gather we were treated to fresh coffee brewed for us by a former British world track cycling champion. After my long drive I was definitely in the mood for a boost of caffeine. Now because there were a number of professional cyclists from the DHB Canyon team riding with us that day, their bikes were there too. Canyon had also brought along their team camper and a number of team vehicles. The Canyon DHB riders sat around looking somewhat nervous, I guess concerned at the amount of power that some of these amateur riders would be throwing down over the course of the day. A quick word on the Canyon DHB powered by Blorholm's team. They are a UCI Continental Cycling Team, so that means they sit in the tier of professional teams that are below the World Tour. Nonetheless, they compete on an international basis and participate in a number of notable races, including most recently the Tour of Britain. They also have a number of well-known riders, mentioned Andy Tennant who was making the coffee. Also on the day with us was Matt Bostock, a young rider who did very well on the National Criterium series here in the UK in 2019. Also there on the day was former team rider James Lowsley Williams, who you may recognise as a presenter on GCN known as Hank. So with the coffees drunk, the pastries eaten and the free jerseys given out, we were divided into our groups and allocated ride leaders. Our group of six riders was led by Tim Elverson, director of the Canyon DHB team. Also in our group were Hank and another local semi-pro. That left three of us who were rank amateurs. I signed up to do the long route but at a medium pace, memory 14 and a half miles per hour. As I think in kilometres per hour, like all good European pros, that was a pretty comfortable 23 kilometres an hour. So far, so good. The issue we found though, Tim wanted to demonstrate to his riders in the other groups that he could get us working together as a team. We wouldn't be riding at the advertised 14 and a half miles per hour, oh no. Luckily, both the weather and the route were pretty benign. You can see in the video the clear blue skies. Temperatures were in the low 20s. It was a beautiful late September day. The long route took in 77 kilometres of mainly quiet country roads, just under 900 metres of ascent. Pretty benign in numbers terms. Benign, providing you weren't trying to blow your legs off. The route was a clockwise loop, 
mainly in the Cotswolds, which the powers that be have designated as an area of natural beauty, and who am I to argue? It's also an area of pothole roads, but then you can say that about most places in the UK. We cruised around, enjoying the weather, enjoying the scenery. Now strictly speaking, this was a work day, so I really hope my boss doesn't watch this video. In addition to putting on food before and after the ride, the team provided two fueling stops to keep us going. As well as less specialist fare, pastries and bananas, there was a selection of products from one of the team's sponsors. Sadly, these came from nutrition partner OTE, rather than hydration and pain relieving partner, the Sadler's Brewery. There was only one climb of note, on a north bound road out of Wootton under Edge. Just under three and a half kilometers is an average gradient of 5%. Only 168 metres of straight ascent, but this was enough for Strava to classify it as a Category 3 climb. As part of his master plan, Team Director Tim was keen that we tackled the climb steadily, as a single unit. His point was simple, to him at least. In arriving at the top in a cohesive group, we'd then be able to work together to ride the next flat section quickly. We'd then get back first, and all of his pro riders would agree that he was the finest sports director of them all. Problem, his definition of steadily is clearly different to mine. Whilst we did all make it up the climb together, all three of the non-pros were blowing heavily by the end. Then, just as we got to the top and prepared to, um, put the hammer down, I got a massive cramp in my hamstring. The effects of riding for two and a half hours at significantly faster than the advertised 14 and a half miles per hour caught up with me. And it was one of those situations where you tried to relieve the cramp by stretching out the muscle only to trigger a cramp in the muscle you're using to stretch out the first one. I slowed to a crawl and started wondering how I'd make it back home. Whilst the others soft pedalled in front, Tim dropped back to assist. Visions of having to call up the broom wagon, I was hugely relieved and not a little surprised when the cramping seemed to stop. The good sensations, such as they are for a proto mammal such as I, started to return. It was fascinating to ride with a team director and a former pro rider. Throughout the day they shared insights on what it was like to be part of a pro team and how groups of riders should work together. In this brief clip, Tim is explaining a tactic that he calls the washing machine that Team Ineos, Team Sky as was, uses in crosswinds to distance other riders. It was something to do with Luke Rowe suddenly swinging across the road in order to expose unsuspecting riders to the wind, thereby creating a gap. It all sounded very impressive, next to useless for my day-to-day -day cycling. Despite my cramp incident, we completed the 77 kilometers in just a shade over 2 hours 55, which sounds a lot better than nearly 3 hours. My average speed was 26.3 kilometers an hour, rode a full 2 miles per hour faster than we signed up for, and I definitely felt it. Now at the beginning of this video, I promised to reveal all about the start finish venue. This is in fact Chavenage House near Tetbury. Fans of 19th century tin mining may actually believe it's in Cornwall. Cavanage is better known as Trenwith House from Poldark. I resisted the urge to rip off my top and pick up a scythe. Instead I sat down with my fellow riders and a freshly made pizza and grumbled good-naturedly about being pushed to ride so hard. But then I guess pushing you to ride hard is what pro team directors are there to do.
many months later. So I hope you found this video entertaining. If you did, hit the like button. Also, please do remember to subscribe. I've been Monty. You're watching Sportive Cyclist, the Mammal Channel. See you next time.